Hey guys, it's Jeff with Rising Tide Plumbing. A couple months ago, I put out a video called The Basics of Venting and Plumbing, and the response to that video has been really good. But one thing I got out of that too was a lot of good questions. So what I wanna do is I'm getting ready to start a brand new house that's being built by Bass Built Custom Homes, and one of the premier home builders in our area. This house has five and a half baths, it's got a kitchen, two laundries, bar sink, outside shower. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make videos through this whole process. I'm gonna to try to keep them short, four to five minutes. And if you have any questions after watching them, you can shoot it to me, shoot the questions to me, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. So last week we did the slab, did all the plumbing underneath the slab. They're gonna probably be pouring it next week, but I wanted to show you what we did and how we laid it all out. So this is the slab plumbing as we get started. Okay, so this house has three stacks in it. So we'll start right here. This is, we'll call this stack number one. This stack is gonna go up and serve one bathroom that the toilet, shower, and lab is gonna be over in this area right here. As far as laying out a stack, I try not to bring a stack up too close to the toilet just because when you're plumbing that in, you're gonna have Ys and sweeps and fittings in between where the toilet ties into the stack. So I try not to bring it too close to it just to have room to put the fittings. So that stack right there is gonna have five drainage fixture units in it, which is one full bath. It comes down, goes to the outside of the house, and there's a three inch wide that comes in and gets our first half bath that's on the ground floor here in the slab. So you can see the three inch that's wrapped for the toilet so the concrete doesn't get too close to the pipe. So I can pull that foam off and glue the flange on. And then there's, it's wet vented, like we talked about in the other video, through the lavatory right there. Then the three inch goes out of the building through a four inch sleeve where I've got it foamed on both sides. And this is our first stack where it goes outside of the building. Also, when that stack comes out and ties into this other bathroom, as it leaves, as the three inch leaves right there, you're gonna have a total of nine fixture units on that three inch line. Four from this half bath downstairs and five from the bathroom that's gonna be up there going into that stack. All right, so we'll call this stack number two. This stack is gonna serve one bathroom. So again, it'll have five drainage fixture units on it. It comes down and I've taken it outside of the house right here. And I'll explain where that other pipe is going in just a second, but this is stack number two. So that's got five drainage fixture units on it. On that stack, this comes up and that bathroom is gonna sit over in this general area right here. And I'll show you all that on the rough end. Again, I don't wanna get that stack too close to the bathroom so I have enough room to get all the fittings I need to get it roughed in. All right, there's stack number three. That's gonna be our workhorse. It's gonna have 23 fixture units on it. It's gonna have three toilets on it once we get into the rough-in stage. And I'll go over all that once we start the rough-in, which is gonna be probably in about two to three weeks. Um, pipes co pipe comes out, three inch pitch, an eighth heavy to a quarter inch per foot. And there's stack number two right there, like I showed you before. Both stack number two and three come out right here. And when I come and do the sewer line, I'm gonna tie those two together. I'm gonna to go back up this way where stack number one comes out, right up here. And on the side of the house where we're at, we're gonna run down. This is the side where the um, city sewer is. We're gonna run it down to the street and tie it all in. But I'll show you a video of that when we do it. One other small detail, you can see here where the pipe is wrapped in plastic where it's gonna be encased in concrete. That's just to create a vapor barrier to keep the concrete from directly touching the pipe. And then last but not least, the water line. I've got an inch and a quarter of PEX A line coming in. They're putting the water softener right underneath of the stairs. So that goes out. And again, I'll show you all that tie in as well as I do the water and sewer. All right, guys, one final thought. Within 30 minutes after watching this video, get out there and do something nice for someone. It'll bless you just as much as it blesses the other person. And make sure and subscribe to this channel to keep updated on this project and other projects I've got coming up. We'll see you soon.